All right, so to get into the display settings, you're gonna wanna hold the OK button for a couple seconds. And you'll see it'll go in. So here's the settings. The first setting, MD, this is actually ride mode or pedal hardness. This controls how much the pedals tilt when you accelerate or brake. Uh, for example, how much they dip forward or backwards under load. The higher the hardness, the pedal stays flat, more direct, sporty feel. It's better for high speed, off-road or heavy riders. For a lower hardness, pedals will dip more under torque. It'll be a softer feel and easier on the knees and ankles. It's good for new riders or smoother terrain. How they work? Internally, these settings adjust how the controller interprets data from the IMU and distributes torque. A hard pedal feel means the controller reacts faster to changes in angle to resist the tilt. The saw bottles let you fine tune the pedal hardness on a scale from 0 to 100, such as this one. The Nosfa Apex is from 0 to 100, and not just fixed modes. So this uh, this will time out after about 20 seconds, so we're going to want to go back into the settings. We're going to have to keep doing this because I'm going to go into detailed explanations here. Uh, to increase the setting, by the way, you could just press OK. So as you can see, I just increased the pedal hardness to 82, or 8%. Let's go a little more. Here's 86. I like it a little harder, uh, so I'll crack that up just a bit. Go to the next one, you press the arrow, as you saw here. This arrow, now it's A and A and G. So what A and G refers to is the vertical angle adjustment. So you can tilt pedals forward or backwards by adjusting the vertical angle in the app. Examples, tilt forward, nose down, good for aggressive acceleration or down control. Tilt backwards, nose up, good for braking or posture or relaxed cruising. Why it matters? Comfort. Tailors the ride to your stance and foot posture. Performance helps with torque control, especially at high speed and or steep inclines. Some riders like a straightforward tilt for aggressive riding, others prefer level for balance. Continuing forward, we have TLT. This is the tilt back speed. I think I already adjusted this one to 75. I think initially it was at maybe 25. Uh, this is uh, tilt back speed is a critical safety feature on EUCs that help prevent riders from exceeding the safe operational limits of the wheel. What is tilt back speed? Tilt back speed is the preset speed at which the EUC automatically tilts the pedal backwards to warn the rider to slow down. It's the wheel's way of saying, hey, you're riding too fast, back off before you push past safe levels. Carrying forward. Get back in. Okay. TLT. Now we got PWT. PWT, that's the PF, PWM value. In the context of an EUC, PWM stands for pulse width modulation, and the PWM value refers to how hard the motor controller is working to maintain torque and speed. What PWM measures on EUC, it represents the duty cycle of the voltage sent to the motor. A higher PWM value means the controller is closer to max output. It's using more of the battery's power to maintain your speed or torque. A lower PWM value means the controller has more headroom and is not under heavy load. Why it matters? 100% PWM means the controller is giving everything it can you're at the performance level. Above 90% PWM is a risk zone. Pushing beyond this can lead to cutouts. Controller can't deliver more power, overheating, reduced torque responsiveness, and straight up you can just fall. The wheel can just stop because you overpowered it, so you know you want to be careful with that. Riders actually monitor the PWM to avoid overpowering the wheel, especially during high speed riding, uphill climbs, hard acceleration. It's a good way to know how close you are to the wheel's limit, similar to watching engine RPM on a car. All right, moving forward to the next setting. Now we got ALM. ALM is your alarm. Uh, alarm for speed, similar, you know, uh, similar to kind of the tilt back. It's an uh, audio 
warning that alerts you when you're approaching a critical speed and you can set this limit for yourself. For example, uh, for me, I think I set it to 70 on this wheel. And when this wheel goes 90, I want to hit the alarm just so I know that I'm doing already 70 kilometers. Let's take a look at that again and see. Alarm. Now it's set to 25 right now, so we're going to want to bring that up. You know what? The alarm going off at 25. Let's do 70. I'm happy with that. BRT is the brightness, brightness of the display. You can go adjust the brightness, how bright you want it to be, brighter or dimmer. Okay, pretty straightforward, so we'll carry forward. CAL, that's your calibration. So you can calibrate your EUC uh, if, if you don't feel like it's, you know, straight. So basically, you place EUC on a flat level surface, power it on, then you this app, you enter calibration mode, the wheel beeps, sets, and stores the new level position, reboots the wheel, and hopefully your wheel should be straight. Let's keep going. All right, TRM. TRM refers to transport mode. Transport mode deactivates the motor. This is good if you're shipping it or moving it so it won't power on accidentally. Turn on, try to balance itself, and spin the tire, tilt it. And, uh, you know, this can cause obviously injury or damage while being carried, shipped or wheeled. So, if, you know, you're gonna be shipping it or carrying it, whatever, you might wanna use transport mode. It's not a bad idea. All right, let's keep going. Transport mode. UNT, this is your unit of measure. Uh, what you can simply go and change it to miles per hour or kilometers per hour. I'm gonna stick with kilometers per hour. It's pretty self-explanatory. This is your voltage. VTA is your voltage. You don't wanna, you don't wanna touch this. You don't wanna mess with that. So just let's stick to that. STA. This is side tilt angle. So side tilt on an EFC refers to the lateral lean or angle of the wheel from side to side. Next is SND, which is the volume adjustment. So how how long how loud or quiet you want these beeps to be when you're moving forward. MXV refers to the maximum voltage, maximum charge voltage. So this is set to 151.2, which is, you know, what the is, 151 volt system. So the max, max charge voltage depends entirely on its battery system voltage rating. Each EUC has a specific full charge voltage. Uh, going above this can damage the battery, BMS, or even cause fire risk. So again, this is another one you don't want to actually touch. Manufacturing sets it properly, and you can just leave that alone. But good to know what it is in case by accident you do touch it, so you can go back to correct your mistake. All right, we're moving on. Almost at the end here. A and G percent. This is the acceleration assist. So it adjusts how the motor torque is delivered in response to rider input. This impacts how quickly the EUC responds to lean in, how much torque is applied off the line, and how fast the EUC ramps up speed. Think of it as a gas pedal sensitivity setting for your EUC. Okay. All right, so we just went over all the settings in great detail. Uh, let's just do a quick recap without the full explanation, what everything is. So again, MD, ride mode. Oops. 
ANG, vertical angle adjustment, TLT, tilt back speed, PWT is the PWM value, ALM is the alarm speed, BRT, is, this is going to be your brightness, CAL, calibration, TRM, transport mode, UNT, unit of measure, kilometers or miles, VTA, voltage adjustment, STA is your side tilt angle, left or right, SND is sound or volume adjustment, MXV, max charge voltage, and finally ANG percentage is your acceleration assist. And that's everything to know.